In this video, I'll be guiding you through how you can add text to paths and simple shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Welcome back to the My Design Class YouTube channel with another Photoshop tutorial. So let's jump right in and create a path using the pen tool. So in order to find the pen tool, it's located just above the type tool on the left hand toolbar here. And as you can see, the shortcut to the pen tool is P. So with the pen tool selected, what I'm going to do is create a curve that goes in a wave shape. So in order to do that, I'm just going to create a point on the left here. I'm just going to hold and drag it out so we can start to create a curve when we draw the next point. And I'll make it quite a big curve so it's quite easy to see. I'll then create a new point sort of in the middle of my canvas. So something like this. Hopefully you've also got Photoshop open so you can follow along with the tutorial. And then I'll create one final point around here on the right hand side. And then drag that one out too in order to complete our path. Now, as you can see, I've just created a simple wave shape using the pen tool, but you can go ahead and create any shape that you want. So in order to add text to our path, what we have to do is go to the type tool. So like I said earlier, the type tool is just underneath the pen tool and the shortcut to it is T. And that's both for Windows and Mac, by the way, it doesn't matter which one you're on. So with that selected, now normally when we use the type tool, all we have to do is press once anywhere on the screen and it will create a text for us. But I'm actually going to undo that by pressing on this stop because this is not what we want. Now in order for this to work, you have to make sure that your path is selected. And what you'll notice is at the moment, my icon for the type tool over the cursor looks like this. But the moment I go over the path, you'll see that it changes to this cursor with a dashed line going through it. And when this icon comes up, all you have to do is left mouse click once. And as you can see, it now adds text to your path. So for example, I can go ahead and type anything within this space. Now, as you can see, I've typed quite a long sentence and it's not actually all showing. So it should say how to add text to paths in Adobe Photoshop 2021. But as you can see, everything after the word to is no longer showing. And the reason for this is when we add text to a path, we have what is called a start point and an end point. And these basically determine where the text is positioned between on the path. So in order to actually change this, what we have to do is actually reposition these points. So in order to do this, what we can do is hold command on our keyboard and we can actually go ahead and drag one of these points. So for example, if I extend the end point here and drag it all the way to the other end of our path, the text is now going to be positioned in the middle of our start and end point. And as you can see right in the middle here, we've also got a midpoint, which just shows us where the middle of our text is. You can also do this for the start point and I can hold command once more and start to reposition that start point to the point where actually it's not going to show all of our text again. So we can just move that to wherever we want. I'm going to leave it at the end so it actually follows our path and we can actually see everything. Now, as you can see, you might have already noticed when I was moving this endpoint, the text can also flip to the bottom of the path. So in order to do that, all you've got to do is go to either the start, end or the midpoint. So I'll drag the midpoint for this one and just hold and drag it to the other side of your path. So as you can see, it's now flipped to the bottom of our path. For this demonstration, so we can actually read the text, I'm just going to move it back to the top so we can actually see what we're doing. And in order to confirm our choices, all we have to do is just press on a tick, just like any text object in Photoshop. And as you can see, it's now created our text. So the text is obviously a standalone layer from the path. The path is a layer in the path panel. So as you can see, if I go to the paths panel on the right hand side here, we have a path, which is this information for the path itself, not the text. It might look a bit deceiving because it does have the name of the text on it, but this is just to remind you that the text is attached to this path. The layer itself, where we actually edit the text, is still under the layers panel. And as you can see, if you want to edit the text, all you have to do is double click on the thumbnail and you can once again edit the text, just like any text object that we have in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if we've added our text to our path and we're actually unhappy with the way the path is looking, what we can do is just if I quickly unselect the text and go to the path selection tool. So that's just underneath the type tool. And as you can see, if I hold on that using my left mouse key, the shortcut to the path selection tool is A for both Windows and Mac once again. So in order to actually edit the path, all we've got to do is just hold command on our keyboard 
select any part of the path. And as you can see, these points once again appear and I can drag them in any direction and the text will actually stick to that path however you manipulate it. So for example, I can drag it into another shape like this. I could even move the end point to somewhere completely different. So for example, all the way up here. And as you can see, it's just going to stick to that. Now, obviously the tighter of the corners of any of your paths, some of the characters in some of the words might start to overlap. So if I make a very dramatic change, for example, if I make something like this, as you can see, it's no longer very easy to read because the text is starting to overlap on some of the words. So this is just something you've got to watch out for. The harsher these curves are, the harder it is going to be to read your text. So I might just quickly remove this one back down to the bottom so we can actually see what it says. Something like that. And then all we have to do is just select off our path in order to confirm that choice. Now, obviously it is a text object, so we can do anything that we can normally do with text objects. So just bringing up the type tool to select the text and then pressing command and A on my keyboard to select all of the text in one go. Obviously, if I go to the top here and change the font size, it's also going to increase on the path itself. Obviously, it might overextend your endpoints, so that is something you will have to consider. And obviously, I can also go ahead and change the color. I can do literally whatever we want. Now, next, I'm just going to show you how you can also integrate this with the shape tool. So just before we start, let's just quickly delete this layer. And as you can see, once I've deleted the layer, it is actually also going to delete the path. So that is something you have to consider. So in order to create simple shapes, I did already make a video on this. So I will leave a link to the full video in the description below. But all we have to do is go and find the shape tool, which is under the path selection tool. And as you can see, we can select from a whole number of different shapes. So for example, we can choose the ellipse tool. And as you can see, the shortcut to all of these is U on your keyboard. And then with the ellipse tool selected, what I'm going to do is go to the top of the screen where it says shape and then press on that drop down and change it to path. So now anything we draw will automatically be a path. So I can just hold and drag my left mouse key, hold shift on my keyboard in order to keep it irregular on all sides and then just release just like that. I can then also go to the path selection tool, as you can see right here again, and then I can just hold and drag my shape into the middle of our canvas and perhaps try and align it to the center of our image. So once we're happy with that, all we have to do is go to the type tool. So just press T on our keyboard and go to the edge of the path. And as you can see, the cursor changes once again, just press once. And now we've added text to the circumference of our shape. So I can once again type in the same text. And then once again, just press on the tick at the top here and then go to the move tool, just get rid of the path selection. And as you can see, we've now got text going around in a circular shape. So this technique applies for any of the shape tools that we have here. So any of the rectangle tools, the triangle, the polygon, etc. You can use it on all of these and you should be able to add text to it as long as you've changed it to a path. So those were the fundamentals of how to add text to simple shapes and paths in Adobe Photoshop. If you haven't already, do remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new video and also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this content.